Simulations are at the heart of everything we do at CodeSignal. Why? Because without simulating job relevant tasks, you cannot really understand whether somebody is capable of doing the job, and you also can't help them practice the skills necessary to be good at the job. Today, I'm going to walk you through several different simulations that we've created over the years to simulate every kind of job relevant task, from coding to managing teams to being able to work with spreadsheets. Many of the job tasks we perform includes talking to other humans. That's why we've created a powerful conversation simulation that allows us to simulate every kind of scenario from negotiating something on the job to being practicing to being a better manager to practicing or being assessed on your sales skills. Let's take a look at one example here where I'm speaking with Milo and Milo is supposed to be my direct report and I'm supposed to deliver constructive feedback to him and make sure that he understands and acts on my feedback. Hey, can you hear me okay? Hey Milo, yes I can, how are you? Oh, I'm a bit surprised, to be honest. I just got the feedback from my performance review and I didn't expect some of the comments that were made. It feels a bit off, you know? I mean, I really want to understand what's going on here. Tell me more, what feels off about it? Well, for starters, I just don't see how some of the things that were said reflect the work I've been doing. It's like, are we even on the same page? I mean, is this really how it is? I can't help but feel it's not fair, especially when I see others not getting this kind of feedback. What's the basis for these comments? Let's pause this one here. As you can see, Milo sounds hyper-realistic. If you talk to him for a few minutes, you actually forget you're not talking to a real human. And that's what we mean when we say hyper-realistic simulations. These are the kind of simulations that help us both assess skills in a very high signal manner, as well as allow people to practice the skills that they need on the job. In many job scenarios, we are expected to brainstorm ideas and visually represent those ideas on a whiteboard. That's why we've also created a whiteboard simulation in which in this specific scenario, you can see a marketing plan being outlined where I can either be asked to edit this marketing plan or create it from scratch using all the different tools that you would expect to be available from a digital whiteboard solution. Another scenario that involves whiteboards is technical interviews in which you are expected to do a system design challenge. And this is very common in most technical roles where a complex technical system design starts from outlining in a visual way how the different parts of the system are supposed to work together and talk to each other and just being able to adjust it as you see fit. When thinking about data related roles, especially ones that involve finance and accounting, spreadsheets are an inseparable part of job related tasks. That's why we also have spreadsheet simulations where you can do things like simple formulas such as adding elements from a given column and seeing the result right there to very complex ones where you've got an entire business plan outlined for you and you're supposed to analyze it, add different kinds of performance metrics and analysis and understand the overall business plan or propose a new one. Written communication is a big part of almost every job. That's why we have a writing simulation. In a writing simulation, the context is one of the most important parts because given the context, you could either be writing an email about an important topic, you could be editing a document that is a proposal you're trying to fix, or you could be putting together an initial idea and a brainstorm for a project you need to work on. In this specific example we're looking at, I'm asked to help resolve a conflict between two people on my team who are arguing over the right direction for the project. Now, if we look at another example, you again have the writing simulation, but the context is very different. In this one, I'm reviewing an enterprise ERP technical proposal, and I need to understand the details of this proposal and help complete several different tasks that are connected to this scenario. 
Let's dive into our coding simulations. We have built a very powerful IDE that can simulate any type of technical task, from building mobile applications, to building front ends, to building full stack applications, to building models and machine learning relevant tasks. Now, in this specific example, I am asked to build a React Native application that would be an AI assistant integrated into this mobile application. Now, this is a real phone streaming into the web where it simulates a highly realistic environment, and I'm given a starting code that I need to finish. Right now, the app doesn't actually work. So if I try to send a message, it will come back with an error. And as I start to make edits, everything is updated in real time. So for example, if I say, how can Chad LLM assist you today? Within seconds, that gets updated into the mobile app, giving me a hyper-realistic environment in which I can demonstrate my skills. Now, moving to a different kind of coding simulation, I have a, an SQL task where I'm asked to write a query to query a given table. Again, in the background here, I've got a database connected. So if I say, select all from user input, and I run this code, I would be able to get some query being returned. Obviously, this is not what the task required me to do. So I'm not passing the given test cases. But if I did, it will help me debug. So then moving on to another kind of coding simulation, you have a backend example. Now, by now, you can actually see we can do every kind of technical simulation. And this just shows you the range. In here, I have a backend application and an API. And I'm asked to understand requirements and implement a finished API endpoint to be able to satisfy those requirements. Discovering and developing the skills that will shape the future is impossible without hyper-realistic simulations. To learn more about all of our different simulations, visit codesignal.com.